begin tonight with finalizing spending plans for the new year. Budget season for local governments almost over in Florida. The city of Panama City holding the final public hearing on its 2019 budget tonight. News 13's Alex Thorson tells us what all was approved and how residents will be affected. Beginning with a warm welcome to new city manager Mark McQueen at his first ever commission meeting on the job. Uh, welcome to your first meeting. <laughs> Commissioners first tackling the 2019 millage rate and final budget. Commissioners Jenna Halligus and Billy Rader standing by their no vote for a raised millage rate of 4.35. It ain't very much money, but still I can't do it. But falling short on votes as the other commissioners approved the budget of almost $109 million and proposed millage rate. That means residents will pay about $3 more per month for every $100,000 taxable value on their homes. Philosophically, nobody wants to raise taxes, okay? Uh, it costs me a lot more money myself personally, but you can't pay bills with philosophy. Commissioners say the raise will help to fund the additional police officers and fund city projects. It was kind of a compromise. We're still going to go up to go into reserves to be able to pay for everything that we need to pay for. Also approved Tuesday night, expanding the downtown North community redevelopment zone, adding 95 acres, which will lead the way for a new performing arts center at Bay High School and a parking lot in the area. The agreement will be that this will be an affordable building to rent. Bay District Schools and a donation of $2.5 million from the Nelson Family Foundation will cover most of the $5 million project, while the CRA will spend just $675,000 buying the property. In Panama City, Alex Thorson, News 13.